Hello everyone, my name is Feed Alligators and welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about the best SKS Warzone class setup, so without further ado, let's get into this thing. If you don't know, the SKS I actually believe has the fastest time to kill in this game for the second shot. Of course, if you had a headshot, it's an instant kill. But that second follow-up shot is extremely quick and if you can hit it, you will almost instantly kill someone. And because this is a Warzone class setup, we will take into consideration, of course, that the enemy has full armor, and I believe this thing can only take 3-4 to four kills to kill someone with full armor, and also, with the magazine capacity, you can kill multiple people. And this is just the stock gun, so with these attachments, you will be very, very competitive in Warzone. So without further ado, let's get into this. The first attachment is something I put on almost all of my guns, it is the monolithic suppressor. This of course helps with sound suppression and damage range, which is a perfect combo for Warzone. This makes it so that I put it on every single one of my guns I use for Warzone because it's just perfect. The next attachment is the 22 FSS M5966 barrel. This is the biggest barrel that comes with the gun. It gives you damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control, which is perfect for this gun, as this gun has a lot of upward recoil. This comes at a cost of aiming st not aiming stability, ADS speed, and movement speed. But because this is for Warzone, it's not super important to have those things. I mean, it is important, but this gun on its own has a very fast ADS speed, so... Even with it highly affected, it's still very competitive. The next attachment, the sight, is up to debate. I like the APX5 holographic sight. You can easily put on a sniper scope or the operator reflex sight. It all depends on how you look at the gun. I personally look at it that the APX5 holographic sight is good for close, medium, and long range, while the sniper scope kind of hinders at the close range, and the operator reflex sight is not good at long range. This is the best of both worlds, as it doesn't aim in a ton, but it also aims in a pretty good amount. Making it perfect for plunder, or just normal battle royale, depending on how you use it. The next attachment not only looks cool, but is very useful, it is the SKS Rifle Stock. You may be asking yourself, hey, why don't we have the Sawed Off Stock? And to that I say recoil control and aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. But, more so aiming stability, because let's be honest, who cares, who cares about aim walking steadiness? I realize I'm making a lot of mistakes while I'm recording this. Not in the attachments, but just in the way I say things, I'm stuttering a little bit. I'm just trying to get these videos out quickly because I haven't uploaded in a while. And also, I want to stay relevant. But this attachment is mainly for aiming stability. It's almost like the FTAC champion stock for the HDR where it helps aiming stability a lot so you can hit those longer range targets. And also, the sawed off stock gives you a lot less recoil control, which is very important because, as I mentioned earlier, this gun has a lot of vertical recoil. And you know, it's just not fun to try to hit something when your gun just keeps popping up. The final attachment is specifically for Warzone, it is the 30 round magazine. Now, of course, if you're playing Battle Royale, ammo is of great concern. So, if you have the 30 round magazine, you can hold more ammo. And of course you have more at your disposal so you won't need to reload as much which is very good because Warzone, it can be slow paced but towards the end it can be very fast paced. This gun on its own has a very fast reload but you just don't want to take the time to reload all the time. Some people would say that why don't you just keep the 20 round magazine it already gives you a lot of ammo and to that you can hold more ammo with this and you have more at your disposal. Which is the perfect combo because you're going to need more shots to take down armor. And if you're playing squads or trios, you're going to need more shots for more people. I know I said meat in the back. I meant need. I can already tell people in the comments saying that I said that. So I'm just going to address it here. So with this out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. Like I said before, you can see this gun still has a very fast ADS speed. Despite the fact we have the biggest barrel, 30 not 30, 10 more shots and a monolithic suppressor. And the sight is very good even for close range like it is here. For Warzone it is still very good for longer range targets. And on top of the SKS stock it makes it look 
really cool, but it's also very useful. You can't see it as much in this gameplay, but it is really, really useful. Because if someone is standing still and you miss your first shot, they know where you are and they go into cover, and that just makes it a lot harder to kill someone. And with this gun, because of the fire rate, if you hit the first shot and they go running back, you could just have the follow-up shot hit them, and then they can be in almost instantly down. So this gun, all in all, is perfect for Warzone. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment anything down below, such as new ideas or what you thought of the video. And I will see you all next time.